and welcome to my lessons Fascination Organ Improvisation. My name is Franz Josef Stoiber. In this lesson uh, we are going to study how to make a good theme for our improvisations. As we have seen in the former lesson, harmonic pendulum Cadence and sequence are a harmonic safety net when improvising. And also, pendulum, cadence and sequence are a sure harmonic base and structure for themes. Let's repeat. We start um, with the fifth pendulums. One, five, one, four, one, like this. Then with first inversion chords on the fifth and the fourth step. First inversion, one, four, first inversion, one. Of course, we have to play with these pendulums in all positions. Then we have two important cadences. One, four, five, one. And uh, one, two, five, one. important harmonic sequence is the sequence of descending fifths. I used in my Introducing improvisation, a theme in C minor, and I played a little prelude in C minor. And the theme is in this prelude. Let's have a look. We have pendulums in uh, the beginning of the theme. One, five, five, back to one. One, four, one, four, one, and the cadence two, five. So I uh, recommend you uh, to play the theme first in the right hand and uh, with the left hand we play chords. And then you can play and practice um, the theme in the left hand and the chords in the right hand, like this. And of course, you we have to uh, play the theme in the bass, like this. Then 
then we have to transpose the theme into the neighbor keys and remember the neighbor keys are uh, a fifth above a fifth below and um, the parallel keys so in this key C minor we have G minor fifth above fifth below uh, F minor and the parallels are uh, E flat uh, major and uh, B flat major and uh, A flat major. So we have five neighbor keys. Now perhaps uh, the theme in the neighbor key G minor with the left hand we have with the right hand and of course you can try to improvise some uh, figurations so when um, we have the beginning now we can play uh, the beginning of a prelude and uh, playing the theme beginning with the right hand then in the left hand and here in the uh, neighbor key G minor and then in the key C minor in the pedal uh, perhaps at the end of our little prelude um, the theme over a pedal point in the soprano and then we uh, um, will end with the cadence so like this Let's have a look to a second theme like this. I play the theme with a bass. So let's study the theme. We have two cadences. A theme normally uh, contains two parts, an opening part and the ending part. Sometimes uh, the theme has an opening part, a middle part and an ending part. Here we have a theme with two parts. The first cadence is one, four, Five, one, two, five, one, and we 
play with the left hand the chords. Now we have to practice playing the theme with the right, with the left hand and with the pedal like we did before. And of course we have to transpose the theme and so on and to improvise some counterpoints and so on. Now I um, play again a little fantasia with this theme using the theme in the right, the left hand and the pedal. And it could sound like this. My third theme is in uh, E minor and uh, the theme contains three parts, opening part, a sequence part and an ending part. And I uh, use this theme for a trio. So I start with the left hand and the pedals. So on. Look here, we have a cadence 2 5 1 at the beginning. one at the beginning then the sequence and uh, at the end another cadence two five one and then I um, continue the trio with the theme in the left hand and in the upper key uh, the key a fifth above um, B minor so uh, the end of the theme is now the theme and of course uh, it is interesting how to improvise the next part and when we have introduced the theme so we have to develop the theme or we have to develop mo motives of the theme in a sequence and I use this motif Now I uh, use this motif to develop and um, to modulate in the parallel keys G major and uh, D major. 
So we can con we can continue with the sequence. Now I begin with the right hand with the theme in G major. And the sequence to the next key D major and now the theme is in the left hand. And so on. I will improvise a trio the theme at the end of the video. Harmonic pendulum, sequence and cadence are very important patterns in music and so we have to practice very carefully these patterns and uh, also I recommend you to look my other videos concerning pendulum sequence and cadence. Now I'm going to improvise a trio using my third team in E minor. 